Mr. Alacart. <laughs> your tests show your red blood count <laughs> is exceptionally low. So give me blood. Any type will do. Oh, what do you want? We've got unleaded, super unleaded, <laughs> or Keith Richards. <laughs> It shows here you've got anemia, Vlad. Yes. Uh, let's update your medical history, shall we? Um, allergies. Mm, ragweed, garlic. Can we get on with this? I haven't had lunch. Say, is that a paper cut? It looks quite fresh. You're right. Uh, this is a pretty nasty cut. I'll um, go find a doctor. You wait here. <laughs> I got a guy in here who I think is a vampire. You look a little overworked. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious, you don't believe me? Take a look. Yeah. Mike, get some rest, huh? I was feeling so bad. and Johnson Clinic? I finished early. <laughs> Good. Want some? Crumbs in the margin. I wouldn't let Charles see that or you'll be toast. Charles? We own his new assistant. She hired him last week. I don't believe this guy. So guess what Charles did? Hi, Mike. He puts an airwick solid up the exhaust pipe of my Jag. Why did my sister hire this guy? Come on, how bad can he be? Wait till you meet him. He's hypersensitive, he's anal retentive, he's totally obsessive. And you, of all people, have a problem with that? <laughs> and dangerous, and a former soldier of fortune. I hear he leveled an entire village. Yeah, then he went out and he edged their lawns. <laughs> damn it, damn it! Oh, hi, Mike. <laughs> I had a whole tray of urine samples on my desk, and Charles rearranged them by tint. <laughs> the man has got to go. He's irksome. He's rude. Uh, he's Satan's crafty minion. <laughs> Sounds like a chip dip. <laughs> Obviously got all three of you completely intimidated. Oh, oh you know it. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Good morning, Doctor. Uh, I think I'm going to get back to my office. Hi, Charles. Hi, Charles. And you must be Dr. Stratford. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Prove it! <laughs> Hanging shirt tail, spotty shoe polish, and what's this nice new stain here? Stain? All this time I thought it was our family crest. <laughs> and you're Charles. Nice yes, to meet you. it's nice meeting you. Since this is your first day back, I don't suppose it was you who actually left the toilet seat up in the men's room? Uh, yeah, it was. It's kind of my signature around town. <laughs> See that it doesn't happen again, Dr. Stratford. There's a right way and a wrong way of doing things. For example, item number one. Have these windows been washed? Ever. <laughs> Item number two. The lights are flickering. Do you have any idea what flickering lights can do to a paranoid schizophrenic? I think I'm looking at the answer. <laughs> Item number three. Not enough multicolored pushpins on the bulletin board. Charles, why don't we just skip right to item number 36? If you like. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Item 36, crumbs in the margarine. And we're still having a problem with that. <laughs> I know it's difficult, doctor, but could you please, please leave your hair on your head? Thank you. All of these things must be corrected, Dr. Stratford, if I'm to continue working here. Or maybe you won't continue working here. Leona. What is it, Mike? I'm kind of busy. It's about Charles. What's wrong? Is he hurt? No. Damn, I knew that was too much to hope for. <laughs> you have to get rid of him. I know that. Great. Well, you take care of it, and I'll be downstairs. There may be more hair I haven't found yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no? No, look, <laughs> Mike, what I'm about to reveal, I do so in the strictest of confidence. Oh, God. I can't fire people! Leona, you're a psychiatrist. I'm sorry, I happen to have a little blog about it, okay? Besides, he wiped out an entire city. So we got a little cranky. <laughs> look, you fire him. <laughs> Leona, it's two words. You're fired. You can say them. Watch. You're fired. You do it. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> well, hello again, Dr. Stratford. That's quite a death grip you got there, Charles. <laughs> Excuse me, Charles. Uh, Dr. Stratford has something to discuss with you. Something about two words. <laughs> two words? Dinner tonight? <laughs> okay. I'm supposed to meet Dr. Stratford. Please don't get up. So, Charles, here we are. <laughs> in these things? Sure. They're cheese with doodle flavoring. <laughs> That's very humorous. <laughs> Charles, uh, uh, let me be honest with you. I, I like you. you. You seem like a very decent man. A uh, kind man. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, it's a little awkward for me. <laughs> <laughs> of course. These situations are never easy. Then you understand? Of course I understand, Michael. If I may call you Michael. As long as you're not holding my hand when you do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, it's always so difficult to know the boundaries on the first date. <laughs> Um, may I call you Charles? Yeah, yes, please. Uh, I think perhaps, just perhaps now, there may be a teeny weeny little misunderstanding. You are gay, right? And that would be it. <laughs> Why did you ask me here? Charles, it's simple. Um, I have two words to say to you. <laughs> Hi, Dick. <laughs> Mike, there you are. Charles, my brother Richard. Oh, nice to meet you. Hi. Oh, that's a great grip. Thank you. Mike, <laughs> guess what I just got? Crack knuckles. Uh, <laughs> try two tickets to Phantom. Show starts in 20 minutes. 
But I guess you're busy. Oh, boy, Phantom, that is some show. I saw that on Broadway with Crawford. I saw it in L.A. with Guillaume. I saw it in Hartford with a head cold. <laughs> I really wish I'd seen Michael Crawford. Oh, he was wonderful. I mean, the play is really the thing. Andrew Lloyd Webber's a god. Man can do no wrong. If we hurry. Hold it, Charles. You can't go. Why, Why not? not? Because we have to talk. Oh, Michael, we can talk all day tomorrow at work. Let's go, Rick. Michael, where did you find this guy? He's wonderful. You'll be sorry. Phantom isn't the same in Providence. It stars Eric Estrada. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey. So, uh, what's that smile for? Can't you hear that? The quiet? No Charles coming in to complain? Yeah. Huh. I wonder how he took it when Mike 86'd him. Mike did that? Grant, he fired him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder how Charles took it. With sadness, with depression, with despair. Is that a jelly donut I see? Well, Grant, you're such a sensitive individual, you know? What do you want it? I'm talking about Charles, man. We may not have liked him, but it's tough losing your job. You know, now that he's gone, I actually feel sorry for him. Yeah, me too. Excuse me, doctors. Charles, come right in. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Uh, maybe sure. a donut. I'd love a donut. Are there any jelly donuts left? Uh... As a matter of fact, there is. Right here. Can I get cream? I'd love some cream. Hey, man, sit down. Take a load off. Thank you, Dr. Butterfield. You know, I am a little fatigued this morning because I missed my bus and I had to jog all the way over here. Run, oh, run, golly. Run. Oh, man. Oh, well, hey, hey, hey. You're going home in style today, my man. Take a cab, homeboy. <laughs> What about the tip? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome, Charles. Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to work. Oh, I beg your pardon? Work? Yes, that for which I am paid. <laughs> Does that sound like a man who just got fired? No, it doesn't. Mike! <laughs> Come on. Look, you said you were going to fire Charles. Well, I didn't. Really? Because I started thinking, why me? Why should I be the one? Why don't you do it? Why, well, why me? Why not uh, Deirdre, huh? He would never hit a woman. What? What about Abe, huh? huh? He'd never hit Abe. No, 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 no. What about Leona? Yes, maybe he would hit her. Hey. <laughs> I did it. I fired Charles. And you're still in one piece? No, thanks to you. I thought you were going to handle this. <laughs> because I thought you couldn't. What about your block? <laughs> I worked it through. All I did was I looked him straight in the eye and I said, Dr. Stratford says you have to go. <laughs> How could you do that, Michael? You know what Charles means to me. I didn't fire him. Leona did. Oh, come on. Charles told me that you put her up to it. <laughs> Why would I do that? Because you don't approve of him. Damn it, Michael, you are so judgmental about the guys I date. Like who? Like Rod. Huh? Ski instructor. Rod from Stab. <laughs> I thought he wasn't intelligent enough. I don't know why. The man who thought Picasso was a ninja turtle. <laughs> How about Dale? Dale from Yale. You thought he was too preppy. Richard, the man had an Argyle mattress. <laughs> See what I mean, Michael? I mean, you, you don't like any guy I go out with, and now it's Charles. I like Charles, all right? No, wait, I love Charles. Good enough? Michael, I'm serious. What else do you want me to do? Get him his job back. What? Yeah, show me that you're not interfering in my life. Prove it to me when you say you like Charles. All right, all right. I'll talk to Leona tomorrow morning. You satisfied? Who are you calling? Leona, Charles gave me the number. You owe me. 
Hello, Leona. Mike Stratford. I think you acted very irresponsibly in firing Charles. No, I'm not asking you to hire him back. I'm telling you. And if you have a problem with that, you're going to have to deal with it. Good move, Leona. I thought you'd see it my way. <laughs> Satisfied? Thanks, Mickey. I had to do it, Leona. Charles had a yeah, hunting knife to my throat. <laughs> well, yes. I think now would be a good time to think about giving him his job back. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I think I can still catch him. He should be easy to spot with the crossbow and night vision goggles. <laughs> God, it is so strange practicing medicine without that pest Charles around. Yeah, and this time, I don't feel guilty he's been fired. I say, good riddance to bad rubbish. I say, hit the road, Charles. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, look, Charles, what I was just saying there, that had nothing mm -hmm. to do with, uh... You're a basketball fan. <laughs> well, yes, there is something about the sight of beautifully proportioned, sweaty young men that gets the pulse racing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, man, I thought you might like these Celtics tickets. Lakers, huh? Can't get these puppies for any price. Thank you, Dr. Butterfield. You're welcome, Charles. I just want you to know that in no way do these tickets actually negate your responsibilities as landlord. Huh? Yes, uh, in my day's absence, this place has fallen apart, and I've made a list of my complaints. <laughs> oh, Dr. Stratford, I wanted to thank you. Leona told me you were instrumental in getting my job back. Hi. I'm a bad, bad boy. Now it's time for us to hurt you. You got Leona to hire Charles back? I had to. My brother's in love with him. Richard? Charles? You mean he's... As the front row of a prison rodeo. <laughs> the reason Charles is working here is because your brother's dating him? That's right. Charles is very important to Richard, and Richard is very important to me. He is not a frivolous person, and if he sees something in Charles, it must be there, even if you're all too shallow to recognize it. <laughs> Mike! Why didn't you warn me? About what? About Charles. He's so fussy and critical and obsessive, and you should have said something. You wouldn't have listened. You're right. I am so impulsive, what have I done? I thought Charles was your immaculate confection. <laughs> was, was, until I got to know him. Mike, what am I gonna do? I'm supposed to have dinner with him tonight. I can't do it, I can't face him. I mean, they'll be constantly straightening my tie and causing scenes with all the waiters and itemizing the bills of the nearest hundredth of a cent. Richard, calm down. I can't calm down. <laughs> what the hell did you do that for? I thought it'd calm you down. Did it calm you down? No, it was a really bad idea! Why are you so upset? Just cancel your dinner. I have to do more than cancel my dinner. I gotta break it off with him. So go to the restaurant and break it off with him. He'll understand. You haven't known each other that long. Make it sound so easy. I wish you could do it. Wait a minute. Forget it. No, please, Michael. He's very insistent. He won't listen to me. I'm not gonna do it. Fine, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. We'll, we'll have a lover's spat, and he'll pick up a steak knife and stab me through the heart. <laughs> It'll be in all the papers, and he'll get off, too. Vanity Fair will send Norman Mailer to do a profile on me, and they won't have any good photos of me, and they'll want to use my driver's license picture, and I hate that picture. All right, I'll do it, but only because I want this maniac out of my life and your life and everyone's life, and this is the last time. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what time should I meet Charles? 8.30. Bye, Dick. Bye, Mick. <laughs> ah. What a pleasant surprise. And a funny coincidence. I was supposed to meet Richard here tonight. Well, <clears throat> actually, it isn't entirely a coincidence, although I do think you'll be surprised, though perhaps not pleasantly, so I hope you'll keep your sense of humor and try to see the funny side of it. Dr. Stratford, what are you talking about? 
Richard wants to break up with you. Please don't kill me. Why does Richard want to break up with me? Beats me. Personally, I, I think you're a great guy. You don't have to patronize me, Mike. I mean, I've been dumped before, and by better men. It's a relief. I thought you weren't going to take this well. Oh, God! <laughs> Oh, did I touch you? I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. Please don't hurt me. Why do you keep saying that? What? Why do you keep saying please don't hurt me? Because you were a Green Beret. You wiped out an entire village. No, I didn't. I wore a Green Beret when I was a backup dancer with the village people. <laughs> I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. It's okay. I can't blame you for being upset. Although I'm not too thrilled about being outed in my favorite restaurant. <laughs> so, he dumped me. I just wish Richard thought enough of me as a person to tell me himself. Michael, if I'm really an emotional person. Oh, not at all. <laughs> oh. There, there. There, there. Oh, thank you, Michael. <laughs> you're so kind. <laughs> Are you sure you're not? No. 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 Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't have anything to look forward to, really. Nothing ahead of me. Oh, come on, Charles. You got your whole life ahead of you. There'll be other people for you. Attractive people. Not people with breasts, but nice people. You'll have better relationships with them because of what you've learned from this experience. I, I suppose you're right. I should look on the bright side, really. After all, I'm young. Hmm? I'm likable. And thanks to you, Michael, dear Michael, I still have my job. Uh, <clears throat> that reminds me, there is one other thing. Yes? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Thank you.